This Cinco de Mayo weekend, Saturday, May 7, boxing's number one star is back. Canelo Alvarez, the 25-year-old Mexican superstar, coming off a career-defining win against Miguel Cotto to become the middleweight champion of the world. He's in trouble now. Tremendous uppercut for Alvarez. Es un sentimiento que no puedo explicar. Now, Canelo steps up to meet one of boxing's most avoided and feared opponents, Amir King Khan. Why is he feared? His speed. Another show of hand speed by Khan. His footwork. That led to this. And his heart. Against opponents Devin Alexander and Luis Colazo, Khan demonstrated blazing speed and excellent defense to turn in a dominating performance. Oh, he hit him with the right hand and it dropped Colazo down. Khan's ring generalship and punches that are often not seen but felt continue to prove the punch you don't see coming can severely hurt you. If speed is Amir Khan's secret weapon, one need only look to Canelo's recent career highlight reel to know what his secret weapon is. Power. Against Alfredo Angulo, Canelo Alvarez demonstrated vicious combinations that often staggered and befuddled Angulo. Canelo, he's like a train that just keeps picking up speed. Relentlessly pounding the body and the head, Angulo wore down. The end was inevitable. They stopped the fight. Against giant puncher James Kirkland, Canelo stood in the pocket often trading with the knockout artist, willing to take a punch. Canelo's getting hit by Kirkland. To give two. You try to hit left hook to the body. Canelo working on the right hand. Down goes Kirkland. In this case, his power proved for a spectacular outcome. There's a perfect straight right hand, and Charlotte's going to stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Saturday, May 7th. It's a classic styles make fights matchup. Two superstars, the pride of Great Britain versus Mexico's champion. Power. Huge body shot by Canelo. Versus speed. Khan is putting on a show. Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Amir King Khan. Who will win? Cuando salgo a la arena, se me enchina la piel de escuchar a la gente. Se me sube la adrenalina de... Se me hace eterno todo lo que dura la presentación para que suene la campana. Se me hace eterno. Ya lo único que quiero es que suene la campana y salir a pelear. I cannot wait to see what goes on when that bell rings. Are we gonna see a Canelo Alvarez who we've never seen before? Are we gonna see an Amir Khan who is strong, who can knock you out? Those are the questions that both fighters are gonna answer for us on May 7th. Three, two, one. Canelo Alvarez is boxing's number one star. Canelo was a young fighter who his manager, um, talked to me about when he was about 14 years old. Come back when he's 18 and, uh, and, and, and we'll take a look at him. When he turned 15, he started fighting professionally in Mexico. He accumulated a, a great career and so once he turned 18, he once again came to us and, and told us, look, remember this kid? Well, he's ready to fight. And right there and then, we said, we, uh, we must sign him. He has, there's something about him. Now it's Canelo mania all over the world, practically. What is it about Canelo Alvarez that has this country starstruck? The crowd rises with Canelo chant. He's almost like a Mike Tyson, but the Mexican version. Something like we've never seen before. Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, an exciting fight between Fredo, Perro, Angulo, and Sa
Saul Canelo Alvarez. A lot riding on this for Canelo. Angulo would seem to be custom made for Canelo. As soon as Canelo understood what was in front of him and that he could beat him to the punch, Canelo had his way. This style, he could not have asked for anything better. Everybody talked about Angulo's power. Everybody talked about, you know, Canelo being the boxer. But it was surprising to have Canelo overpower a very tough and strong Angulo. A big left, a big left. Canelo Alvarez is in the zone right now. Putting the flurry on. Gandhi tells him to bring it. And Canelo answers with his own flurry. When he sees that he's got a shot at finishing you off, he goes and gets it. Canelo is heading his way. Referee Tony Weeks has jumped in and stopped the fight. When you put him in against an Angulo, you put him in against a Kirkland who's going to come in for war, he's been able to finish those guys off. It's the boxers that have given him trouble. Lots of hardcore boxing fans are picking the Cuban to win this fight. Lara, who was very elusive in that ring, made it difficult for Canelo. Alvarez is getting frustrated from all that lateral movement. If anything is learned that can be carried over to the Amir Khan fight is, you just don't chase a guy, you gotta corner a guy, and you gotta learn how to cut off the ring. And I think that's gonna be the real challenge to Canelo. With Canelo fighting Floyd Mayweather and it is Landy Lara, those two fighters really gave him a lot of trouble to Canelo. And Amir Khan has a lot of those characteristics. The Kirkland fight was a fight where he was supposed to shine. Go out there and show who Canelo Alvarez really is. The place was packed, and the electricity was just generating throughout the arena. And these two guys, they delivered. So far, it's skill over will, and Kirkland has to change that equation. Hard right hand by Canelo. Kirkland hurt again. Painting Kirkland with those shots. It was a, a test that he passed with flying colors. Down goes Kirkland. And Canelo finally got him against the ropes and just delivered what wound up to be um, Ring Magazine's knockout of the year. There's a perfect straight right hand. Jordan's gonna stop the fight. It was brutal and it was beautiful and all, the, all at the same time. Canelo Alvarez is, is, is just getting better with every single fight that he has, whether it's Angulo, whether it's Lara, whether it's Miguel Cotto. Canelo versus Cotto. We've waited a long time. It's a pins and needles kind of fight already. Now good left hook by Canelo. Hard right hand to the body by Canelo. Against Miguel Cotto, Sal Alvarez showed great control. He put Cotto in positions where he didn't want to be. That if he shifted gears, I thought he could have pushed Miguel Cotto off the ledge. Now here comes Cotto with left hook, left hook, left hook. Miguel Cotto um, has been in boxing for 16 years. A lot of wear and tear on that body. But I was surprised that he wasn't able to inflict as much damage on Cotto. And the reason is Cotto moved on him. The feeling is Canelo's not good at chasing. What happens when you put somebody who's in his athletic prime and is as talented as Amir Khan is in there with Canelo? Somebody with long reach, twice as fast as Miguel Cotto, blazing hand speed, wonderful lateral movement. What happens when Canelo is confronted with this type of fighter? The two best 154 pound fighters in the world. A tremendous fight down the stretch. Eating a Puerto Rican for a world title is huge. And him beating Cotto was, that was it. Alvarez answers with a right and a left. He's in trouble now. We'll see if Canelo can finish it off. Ganarle a alguien como Miguel Ángel Cotto, que, que seguramente va a quedar en la historia del boxeo por siempre. Cuatro veces campeón mundial. Ganarle a un peleador como él, algo increíble para mí. Algo increíble para mi carrera. Algo que esperaba desde hace mucho tiempo, que he venido trabajando para eso. Eh, fue un sentimiento muy bonito, fue... What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. No puedo explicar qué tanto se sintió, no, pero no solo para mí, sino para la gente que me rodea. Fue, fue eh, algo verdaderamente grande para mí. Now after Miguel Cotto, he's going to face Amir Khan, which is going to present to him a whole different challenge. Um, to underestimate him is, is a serious, serious... Uh, Thing, and if Canelo underestimates him, he could lose. He can throw punches and bunches and, and have that fire in his eye and, and go out there and knock your guy out. That's what people want to see, and, and that's what Canelo Alvarez understands that he has to do now.
Coming up, Khan's unsurpassed speed. He has to be the fastest fighter on the planet today. And how the threat to Canelo's power is real. The middleweight world title's coming home with me. When the countdown to Canelo versus Khan, power versus speed continues. I choose that one. The fastest hands in boxing. That looks crazy. He has to be today one of the fastest, if not the fastest fighter on the planet. Another show of hand speed by Khan. Speed will name the fight. You know, the movement, the skill. I've got speed, I've got the movement, and I've got the skill to win this fight. Good job of showing his speed and excellent boxing here. I think this is my time now to shine. I really want to prove a point. I want to show the world how good Amir Khan is because I know when I have a challenge in front of me, it makes me train harder, work harder. I promise you all, come May 7, guys, I'm going to win this title and I'm going to become the middleweight world champion. Thank you. One day I want to be up there as pound for pound champion of the world. I need to win in this fight to show this is where I belong. You know, this fight is going to be an exciting fight. It's something I've always dreamed of. The reason I'm taking this fight is because I really believe I can win this fight. But I tell you one thing, you're going to see more British flags in Vegas than the Mexican flag. Huh? This fight against Canelo is a fight I know I can win. You know, he's, he's very dangerous, he is a very strong, and he is a great fighter. But that's where I belong, you know, with the top guys in boxing. Amir Khan has been fighting since he was 11. He was a 2004 Olympic silver medalist at age 17, I think. So as a teenager, he was one of the best boxers on the planet. 17 years old, that sort of sets the tone for anything else that'll come in the future. So he's used to the attention, he's used to the big crowds, he's used to the big fight atmosphere. He's been waiting for this opportunity to fight Canelo Alvarez to really show the world what kind of fighter he is. He has the heart, he has millions of British people that are gonna be cheering for him, and he has the skills. And I think that he's been waiting too long for this opportunity, and he's not going to waste it. Oh, he got hit with the right hand, and it dropped Collazo down. Against Collazo, he also had a, a fighter similar to Canelo, and he had a chance to connect a lot. He used his power and also his fast hands. The hand speed difference is very clear. He dominated the fight. He won nearly every round. He had Collazo on the canvas a few times during the fight. He heard him with that last right hand. That's good stuff. My timing was right. The speed, the punch, throwing the right punches at the right time, and the defense was there. So they all had to be the, one of the best performances I've had. Against Devin Alexander, Amir Khan proved what a great boxer he is. When you can outmaneuver a southpaw who has made other guys look bad and look good, that says something about you. My down of the punch, Khan, the glamour boxer. Most regard the top two fighters in the sport. I mean, going up against Maidana, I was kind of seen as an underdog. And what I'm going to take from that fight is, you know, how Canelo is going to try to put the pressure on me. How Canelo throws his big power shots, very similar to Maidana. Maidana clocked in big time. As the fight progresses, it's the lateral movement, the speed, and the boxing acumen of Khan. Six landed punches by Khan before Madonna was able to throw. He had this incredible body shot that bent over and sent down an incredibly durable fighter in Madonna. Down goes Madonna on a tremendous body shot, and he may not get up. Amir Khan showed true heart, true spirit, what a fighter should be against Marcos Madonna. In this fight, I'm going in against Canelo. I am going into the fight as an underdog. It's a great fight for me. We've got a boxer versus a fighter, and we've seen in the past it's boxers who have given Canelo huge problems. Amir is very good at setting traps. All fighters have a fight in them that they haven't brought out yet, and usually it takes a circumstance like this to bring out that next level where he didn't know he had it, fans didn't know he had it, but it's definitely in there. I expect Khan to give him a good fight. The first time I saw him in that gym with Freddie Roach and firing those combinations, I had not seen anybody that fast, not in years. And I said, he's got speed. If he can take a punch, he's going to go far. And he did go far. Here he is in a super fight. That's the dream for every fighter. This is the fight of his life. And he's going to come out 
strong and fast for 12 whole rounds. Khan wants it right now! And Amir Khan, let me tell you, he is a live dog in this fight. He's gonna go out there and fight with his heart and passion. And uh, we never know if that might not be enough or it might be enough. We'll have to wait and see. Still to come, Canelo now owns Cinco de Mayo weekend. Más que presión, es una motivación para mí. But will it still be his after May 7th when the countdown to Canelo versus Khan, power versus speed, continues? Canelo Khan, May 7th at the brand new T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Canelo Khan is truly a global happening. Have you been thinking about your matchup with Amir Khan? Are you approaching this fight any different? Your fans were here in force, very loud and very proud. He received much love from here. It's my first time here. I'm very happy. Thank you to everyone. You can go anywhere with him across the globe, and people are going to know who Canelo Alvarez is. Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Siempre que vengo, me tratan muy bien. Estoy muy agradecido con todos mis fans. Me preparo al 100%. Doy lo mejor de mí, y esta no va a ser la excepción. Coming to you live from L.A. at the Canelo Khan Press Tour, May 7th at the brand new T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. On Cinco de Mayo weekend, May 7th, Saul Canelo Alvarez will be making his first title defense against former two-time world champion Amir King Khan. The Mexican fight fans love Cinco de Mayo, and it's become a tradition. Se le da más importancia, entonces. Eh, eh, para nosotros es un, es un honor estar representando a todo un país en esas fiestas. Es una motivación poder estar haciendo historia para mi país a mi corta edad. Eh, estoy muy agradecido, soy un hombre bendecido y espero seguir haciendo más historia. Es una responsabilidad muy grande, pero así con esa misma responsabilidad lo voy a tomar en el entrenamiento. Boxing fans are going to christen that arena. Um, by selling it out, the energy is going to be incredible. The opportunities there and for, for Canelo to have a big statement win on a big Mexican holiday weekend. Son los que cada día me motivan a seguir, a seguir triunfando. Los que cada día me levanto con esas ganas de triunfar. Me voy a preparar como siempre, al 100%. I know for Canelo it's important to feel the energy from, from fans. He has always fought with the fans behind him. May 7th, Cinco de Mayo weekend. We will see you there. Canelo has the heart of a champion. Canelo Alvarez has been dominating this fight. Saul Canelo Alvarez showed why he's a big-time fighter. The fans love Canelo because he trains hard. He, he puts it all on the line. His improvements, his advancements, his abilities are, are just incredible. Everything about the kid has gotten better. Pero viene la, la etapa fuerte, ¿no? Que es el sparring, eh, hacer todos los ejercicios, condición física. Vienen muchas cosas, ¿no? Que hay que, que hay que hacer para llegar bien a la pelea. Yo considero americano un peleador rápido que se va a complicar. Pero bueno, he peleado con todos los estilos y estoy listo para cualquier estilo del rival. Me voy a preparar muy bien para darle a la gente siempre la pelea que espera. Amir Khan should give Canelo fits because his quickness, his lateral movement, and his ability to circle the ring. Amir Khan's got to use angles. He's got to use his footwork to make sure that Canelo Alvarez continues to have that one flaw that he hasn't been able to fix, which is to cut off the ring. Y siempre enfocado como si tuviera a mi rival enfrente, que ahora es Amir Khan, es siempre enfocado en en él como si lo tuviera enfrente. This is going to be uh, Canelo's greatest challenge, the fastest fighter. He has to go back and huddle up with his team and figure out a, a game plan that is like no other he's ever had before. Pues hay que trabajar mucho la, la defensa, mucho la cintura. Hay que bloquear y hay que, hay que contragolpear. Hay que trabajar mucho las piernas para estar cerrando las salidas y estar atento en, todo lo, en toda la pelea. He has to throw um, more punches than he did against Miguel Cotto. Canelo is the sharper puncher tonight. He has to use more pressure than he did against Alfredo Angulo. Canelo is having his way. He has to put together a game plan that he's never used before. He's 
fighting with body language that says, I can't lose. Can they figure out uh, um, that perfect game plan? I mean, we'll, we'll have to wait and see uh, May 7th. El objetivo de todo peleador es ser campeón del mundo. El, el, ese objetivo ya lo cumplió Saúl, ya es doble campeón del mundo. El objetivo de Saúl es ser una, una estrella, una superestrella. Y es el objetivo de todo el equipo también. Nosotros estamos trabajando para que la gente diga que es una superestrella. <risa> He wants to take risks. He wants to fight the best. Eh, pues estamos trabajando los ganchos y pues, tiene la mano pesada. Mexican power. Coming up, Amir Khan goes up two weight classes. Is his speed going to hold up at that higher weight? And proves that nothing will slow him down. Once I go into that ring, I want to be ready. When countdown to Canelo versus Khan, power versus speed continues. I can't come up short at this fight. And this is the fight that's going to take me to where I want to be. Stay up square and keep looking forward. And that's going to get our power transfer through our body. Square up. Big chest. Come on, you got it. Bring it home, brother. Bring it home. I'm one of them guys that likes to push myself to that limit, to be training harder than Canelo. Because once I go into that ring, I want to be ready. That last one, you really corrected and felt that squat. That energy transfer comes up. Woo, smoked it. Mm. We do a lot of strength conditioning. We do, we try new things out. Good power output, cool. All right, so you get the compressor kick up, we're juicing it up with some more gas. And the Kaiser machines are air pressure machines. Pneumatic air resistance, so it measures power output and resistance. So we're going to measure every single rep for the power. So we were doing a lot of uh, stability work and uh, strengthening work. We ain't trying to replicate skill in here, we're trying to juice up yeah. our rotary strength. That's all we're doing, strength right. to support your movement. That will help with power in the ring. I'm moving up away in this fight, and also I'm up against a very strong guy, so I need to make sure that my strength's going to be there with me. Just keep that tempo. Khan gives Canelo Alvarez a very difficult fight. Not just stylistically, but physically. I think Khan has the kind of speed and pop on the end of his punches that he can mark up Canelo. He can bust him up. When I go into the 12th round in the fight, my body might be tired, but I know the power's still there. My speed is still there. The hand speed advantage remains in place. The game plan is to win. Hit him and don't let him hit you and win the fight. So whatever you need to do to ensure that, that's what we uh, work on each and every day. Side. Good. <sighs> Woo. Amir Khan is uh, a faster fighter, but let's not forget that he's moving up on division. He's getting more weight, and he's going to have to show that he can retain that speed against Canelo Alvarez. Because he's moving up to middleweight, there's a lot of uh, questions out there. Is his speed going to hold up at that higher weight? I want to see how big I can be physically as well and how strong I can be. Whereas normally I'm dehydrating myself and I'm cutting out the food. But this time I can eat well, and by eating well I can train harder, I can build on that strength. Vicious body shot by Khan. I jumped up six weight classes. Floyd has jumped five. Manny Pacquiao jumped uh, seven weight classes. In today's boxing, the weight is no issue whatsoever. I don't see where weight wins a fight or where weight loses a fight. Uh, if you skill, you skill. It doesn't matter. We know Canelo is very strong. I want him to respect my power, because I know that I can't hurt him. Khan continues to nail it. Doing the right strength condition session or power sessions, that's the only way he's going to feel the power and he's going to respect the power. Oh, he got hit with the right hand, and it dropped Colazo down. That's one, OK. We'll juice this up a little bit more. We're going to go another five pounds of pressure. Tight. Good. All right, this is your work capacity. This is your fitness. This is conditioning those muscles, man. So get your mind right for this one. I think the mental uh, part is much more important than the physical. The focus, the vision. Get your mind right. And also the willingness to um, go through things, you know, that's necessary to go through that normal people wouldn't understand. Oh, golden. Two minutes rest. Who would have thought air pressure would be so hard?
Fridays is the time I take out of the gym, go to the mosque, do my prayers. My faith is everything to me, and it's one of the things that got me to this level. And it mentally makes me strong as well. You know, I'm probably one of the only British Pakistanis out there who's a Muslim and who is flying the flag for our people. And I've seen so many people who come over to me to say hi to me and so happy to see me. And they're so happy to see me because they're doing something good for our people, for our community. People's prayers that I get me for, I have a huge fan base around the world who pray for me, who want me to succeed. Because when I walk to that ring, I know I've got God on my side. And that's why I succeed all the time. Who's that? Everything you do is for the for your children. It's a good feeling to put a smile on their face and put them on the right direction. That's what I want to do. Whatever she wants to do in life, I'm going to support her. It motivates me having a great family behind me, my wife, my, my, my little child, and I'm doing this for my little girl so she can have a better future. She gives me that extra push when I do get tired in the gym. You know, all I have to think about is the people I'm doing this for. This is a massive fight for me, and I'm going to grab it with both hands. I'm not going to let it go. It's a massive opportunity for me to prove to myself how good I am. And this is where I belong. Yes! This is scored as a knockout. Yes! So Amir Khan does the job. Yes! Khan makes him pay upstairs. Go. I'm doing this for my country. Yes! I'm doing this for my people. Yes! This is for my family. Come on, win, win, win. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stop. Go. Power versus speed. When the two collide in the ring, the battle is epic. On May 7th, two of the greatest fighters of our generation will face off in what will be one for the ages. Canelo versus Khan, we've waited a long time. The gifted Mexican fighter, Saul Canelo Alvarez, is boxing's number one star. His ultimate weapon is power. The British champion, Amir King Khan, has unparalleled speed. What extraordinary ability will succeed in the ring? On Saturday, May 7th, only one can win. Canelo Alvarez, Amir Khan, power versus speed. It will be an epic battle. It's a 